Thank you, Tiffany. A crash in Castle Hills has an impact in more ways than one. A U.S. postal truck driving straight into a building delivering destruction. Jonathan Colto has been following this crash and has the latest details for us. It was around 4 a.m. this morning. Castle Hills police say the driver of this U.S. Postal Service truck fell asleep behind the wheel. When we arrived on scene, um, we found the driver still trapped in the vehicle. Despite the force of the impact, police say the driver was okay and was even able to help get himself out of the truck. The driver's injuries are minor, but the damage delivered to this direct med clinic off of Northwest Loop 410 on the city's north side was major. The doctor overseeing this clinic tells us this is where he and his staff would hold his meetings and attend to clients. And now the only thing that's left is a bunch of rubble, cinder block thrown back as far as possible, and a bunch of projectile stuck on the walls. Dr. Roger Moshi Gemba, CEO and founder of the clinic, says the upside of this unfortunate situation is that nobody was hurt and his staff have what they need to continue their work. Because of the cold weather last night, they were taking their laptops home because they were anticipating maybe some icy roads this morning. So they were kind of geared up to work from home. He says his patients have already been receiving virtual care and will be able to continue attending to them remotely. He's still in shock. Yeah, I've never been through anything like this, so I'll just be in touch with my insurance company and follow their lead and their guidance. This is a wonderful clinic for us, so we plan to, yeah, to stay here and, and just rebuild as much as we can. The driver is believed to be in his 50s. He was taken to University Hospital and is expected to be okay. Dr. Moshe Gemba says patients can continue to reach him and his staff virtually and through text as they've been doing. Jonathan Cotto, KSAT 12 News.